Hey guys, um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you all the materials you're going to need for this SFX project. So um, you're going to need those two bloods and then you're going to need a tool with a curvy smooth edge. You can also use a spoon if you want. And you're also going to get a paintbrush and uh, something like sharp to like, no, nothing. Don't, don't get anything sharp. <laughs> something like a butter knife and a sponge and air spun. Um, air spun powder is like from Walmart. You can get it anywhere. Um, chest rub or Vaseline, Dollar Tree, and a hand. <laughs> Okay, here's my pre-made scar wax. If you want to know how to make it, watch my last video. <laughs> okay, now put it on your hand. Holly, bad Holly. <laughs> now we put it on the hand. And then with the stick, you you put some Vaseline in it. Oh, you start, no, you start hitting Holly. And then you put Vaseline in it and start, um, what would you call this? Smoothing. smoothing yeah you start smoothing your scar wax yep on to the body oh your hand since I said hand you can put this anywhere by the way guys and then just start smoothing it <laughs> till it's um smooth <laughs> okay um <clears throat> you see how it looks very smooth okay now grab your air spun um <laughs> a few moments later um <laughs> uh yeah two hours later uh, uh um yeah vaseline makes your hands very uh slippery so holly gave me the spongy thingy and um three days later so holly tried opening it up and <laughs> So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Yay! Okay, now get the air spun and get a brush and just start putting it on there just so they could just dry up all the moisture and also make the skin tone even. So look at that hand. Oh, you can't even tell if there's scar wax on it. Okay, now grab your sharp, or no, 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 not sharp, um, knife-like thing. Use a butter knife, guys, <laughs> and start making cuts. Make sure you don't cut the actual person. I did this actually slow because I didn't want to cut Holly because that would be bad. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah. Cut, cut, cut. <clears throat> cut. Uh-huh. Uh, Holly said that this looked like a... One of the wooden bendy snakes. <laughs> okay, now grab a jar and put the black butt blood in it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then... <laughs> and then start... And then grab a small detailed brush. And then start... Um... Oh, shit! <laughs> I don't know why I said that. This was a voiceover. <laughs> I'm not even near it. But um, you just start painting <laughs> the the cuts, and um, yeah. Okay, now get the regular blood and pour it into the jar. And now you're gonna mix it with the black blood. <laughs> Do not add that much black blood, by the way. You want like like <laughs> half to. <laughs> Half the amount. Um, and now you apply it into the cuts. Yeah. Ooh, look at that blood drip. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, okay, now you grab their sponge and you dip it into the blood. And you're just going to lightly tap it onto the wound. Just so it could like have that blood spl splatter. And if you don't want too much, um, dab it into your hand. So you can get less. Um, and then I had, <laughs> I had clumps of the, um, flower from the jar and it makes it look really cool. Like, look at those clumps. Yeah. Look at that, that cut. Ooh. Yeah. Fix your hand, Holly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're done. Look at that. Okay. Bye. Thank you.